Welcome to Voro Motors. Today we'll be showing you how to replace your front and rear brakes on the Mantis King GT. For these tasks, you will need a 2.5mm hex key, a 5mm hex key, Phillips head screwdriver, adjustable wrench, needle nose pliers, tape, a flexible wire, and of course your new replacement brake lines. To replace your front brake, start off by removing the rubber nut cover. Using your wrench, loosen the screw that connects the brake line to the lever. Disconnect the brake line from the lever and wipe off any excess brake fluid. Be sure to save the rubber nut cover and screw from your old brake line. You will need these along with a new olive to attach your replacement brake. Next, cut off any zip ties that are in the way and take off the black cloth that surrounds the brake line. Now pull the brake line out of the stem. Using your 5mm hex key, unscrew the two screws to free the caliper. To install your replacement brake line, start by screwing the caliper in with the 5mm hex key. Next, feed a wire down the stem so it comes out at the bottom. Tape the wire to the end of your brake line and make sure that the ends of the tape are tight so it doesn't get stuck while traveling through the stem. Now pull the brake line up the stem and untape your assist wire. Next, put the rubber nut cover on the brake line. Then put on the screw with the thread facing up. Finally, put the olive on the end of your brake line and squeeze it into place with your needle nose pliers. Next, push the olive into the brake lever and screw it in with your wrench to make sure it is tightly secured. Once the brake line is screwed in, put the rubber nut cover in place. Now test your brake to ensure it's working properly. Since some brake fluid may leak throughout the process, we recommend refilling your brake fluid as needed. Finally, push in the rubber pieces on your stem. And once that's done, you're all set. To replace your rear brake, start off by removing the rubber nut cover. Using your wrench, loosen the screw that connects the brake line to the lever. Then, disconnect the brake line from the lever and wipe off any excess brake fluid. Be sure to save the rubber nut cover and screw from your old brake line. You will need these along with a new olive to attach your replacement brake. Next, cut off any zip ties that are in the way. In order to replace the rear brake line, you will need to gain access through the deck and some of the paneling on your Mantis King GT. To do so, remove the silicone deck cover around the edges to get to the hex screws underneath. Take your 2.5mm hex key and remove the 14 screws. Two screws at the back of the deck will require a Phillips head screwdriver. Remove the deck cover and weather stripping. Next, use your 2.5mm hex key to unscrew the left side panel. There are five screws on the top and three on the bottom. Next, use your 2.5mm hex key to unscrew the six screws on the front frame neck cover. And use a Phillips head screwdriver to unscrew the two screws located at the bottom of the neck cover. Next, cut off the remaining zip ties and remove the black cloth covering the brake line. Pull the brake line out from the stem, the front neck, the deck, and the side panel. Once the brake line is free, use your 5mm hex key to unscrew the two screws on the rear caliper. Next, take your new brake line and start installing it by screwing in the caliper with your 5mm hex key. Now that the caliper is secured, feed the brake line through the tube on the side panel. Next, feed a wire through the front neck and deck. Tape your wire to the end of the brake line and make sure that the ends of the tape are tight so it doesn't get stuck on anything. Feed the brake line through the deck, the front frame neck, and the stem so that it comes out at the top. Once the tape is removed, put the rubber nut cover on the brake line. Then put on the screw with the threading facing up. Finally, put the olive on the end of your brake line and squeeze it into place with your needle nose pliers. Next, push the olive into the brake lever and screw it in with your wrench to make sure it's tightly secured. Once the brake line is screwed in, put the rubber nut cover in place. Make sure you test your brake to ensure that it's working properly. Push in the rubber pieces on your stem. Next, take your 2.5mm hex key and screw the side panels back on. Organize the cables neatly into the deck. Place on the weather stripping, ensuring the screw holes are aligned. Replace the deck cover and screw in the 14 hex screws using your 2.5mm hex key. Then use the 2.5mm hex key to screw the front frame neck cover back into place. Cover the brake lines with the black cloth, and that's it! Thanks for watching! Check out more videos on our channel and visit our website at voromotors.com.